Hi guys. This is D Tech. Today, we are going to configure SSL VPN on FortiGate 40 OS version 7. SSL VPN will allow remote users to connect to the FortiGate device to access the internal network using Forti client for Android, iOS, Windows, and even some Linux operating system. Internet traffic can also flow to the FortiGate for security scanning. We have two option, option one is we will only allow remote users to connect to the network and access the internal network 192.168.1.0 with slash 24 subnet. The next option we will allow remote users to access the internal network and also we will allow internet traffic to pass through the FortiGate for security scanning. This will based on your topology or on your preferences. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you. I'm currently running 40 OS version 7.0, this version have some new amazing features which is very interesting. Let's check the interfaces. You can see our internal network which is 192.168.1.0 with slash 24 subnet. And my internet facing interface or my one is the Maxis which is running through VLAN and it's a sub interface. Let's proceed, first we have to create SSL VPN user account. Go to user and authentication, user definition. Create new for new account. Set type to local user then click next, enter your desired username and password. Click next, we're not going to enable the two-factor authentication for now, click next. We will leave it enabled since we are going to use the account. Click submit. You can see the account created. Next is we are going to create a group and add the user which we just created. Go to user groups. Create new, we will give a name of SSL VPN to make it simple, type is firewall. To add members, click on the plus sign then add the account created, you can add multiple accounts. Once done click OK. You can see the group created and also the members of the group. You can double click to edit or add more users. Next is adding or editing the SSL VPN portal. Go to VPN, SSL VPN portals. You can create new to create new portal. You can also edit the pre configured portals. We have three options the full access, tunnel mode only, and web access only. We will choose the full access to allow tunnel and web access. This is one of the new update for version 7. You have three options for split tunneling. You can disable. All client traffic will be directed over the SSL VPN tunnel, even your internet traffic will pass through the FortiGate. Enabled based on policy destination, only client traffic in which the destination matches the destination of the configured firewall policies will be directed over the SSL VPN tunnel. This policy will allow you to access internal network but you will use your own internet connection to browse internet. Lastly, enabled for trusted destinations. Only client traffic which does not match explicitly trusted destinations will be directed over the SSL VPN tunnel. You can choose option 2 if you want to access the internal network only, and you want to use your own internet connection to browse internet. This will also reduce the FortiGate workload. We will go through the other option later on. Under Routing Address Override, we will select the LAN IP Netmask since we want to access only the internal network. Click on the plus sign. Create. Address. Enter your preferred name. Type is subnet. IP Netmask is 192.168.1.0 slash 24. Click OK. Now, add the new created address. Next is the source IP pools, 
This IP range will be the IP address received by the SSL VPN remote users. You can use the pre-configured SSL VPN address, or you can change it based on your preference. Click on the plus sign, create, address, we will make it simple, SSL VPN address. Type is subnet, enter your preferred address. For this demo we will use 10.0.0.0 slash 24. Now, add the new created address. Make sure that this IP net mask is not in use, or it won't conflict with the remote user's address. It's better not to use common IP net mask. Scroll down, you can allow client to save their password, allow client to connect automatically, allow client to keep connection alive, you can also enable DNS split tunneling. You can also create your new predefined bookmarks. Once done, click OK to apply. Next is we are going to configure the SSL VPN settings. For the listen on interface, Select your internet facing interface or your WAN, in my case it's the Maxis, you can add more if you have multiple WAN connections. For the listen on port, we will configure it as 10443 to avoid conflict with the web access. You can configure based on your preference. It will tell you that the web mode access will be listening to this link. For the idle logout, the SSL VPN remote user will be automatically disconnected if inactive, or no activity for 300 seconds or 5 minutes. You can modify it if you want. Leave server certificate to default. You can enable require client certificate. For the address range, we must match it from the address range of the SSL VPN portal we configured earlier. Click on the plus sign then select the SSL VPN address we have configured earlier. For the DNS server, you can set it as default or you can input your preferred DNS server or if you have internal DNS server. For the authentication portal mapping, click on create new, enter the SSL VPN user group we have created. Set the portal to the one we edited which is the full access. Once done click OK to apply. For other users and groups you can select any. Don't save it yet. Scroll up and you will see these new features of 40 OS 7, the API preview, click on it and you will see the changes we are about to apply. You can copy to clipboard. You will also have the option to edit from CLI here. Notice that there's no changes yet because we haven't applied the configuration. Scroll down and click apply. Now, go back to edit in CLI. You can now see the changes and you can edit it from here. Next is we will create SSL VPN policy, go to firewall policy, create new. You can leave or edit the ID number. Name would be SSL VPN to LAN. Incoming interface would be the SSL VPN interface. Outgoing would be the internal or LAN. For the source, you have to add the SSL VPN address we created. Also, you have to add the SSL VPN user group. For the destination select the internal address. Schedule to always, services to all. Since we're not going out of the internet then we will disable the NAT. You must enable the appropriate security profiles. The antivirus for spyware and other content level threats. This policy is not going out of the internet so we don't need web filter and DNS filter. We will enable the application control for application restrictions. IPS for malware attack and underlying vulnerabilities. This all based on your preference. For the log allowed traffic, better choose all session for troubleshooting purposes. Once done click OK to apply. You can now see the created policy. Policy name, the source, the destination, schedule, services, NAT, 
the security profiles running, etc. Now, open your Forda client, you can check my video on how to download and install the Forda client, I uploaded the video for version 6.4 and for this version 7. Since we configured the SSL VPN then we will add it on the SSL VPN tab, you can check my other video on how to configure IPsec VPN. Enter your preferred connection name. Description is optional. For the remote gateway, you will enter the dynamic DNS or the public IP address of the remote site. We have customized the port so check the box and enter the port number. Click on save login for you not to enter your username every time you want to connect. Enter the username then click save. Now, enter your password then click connect. You can see the connection name, the IP address which we configured on the FortiGate, the username, time duration, bytes received and bytes sent. Let's check the interfaces. Notice the gateway is 192.168.1.1, we should be able to ping and access this IP since the ping and HTTPS access has been enabled. Ping 192.168.1.1, success. Now, let's access the FortiGate through web. HTTPS 192.168.1.1, success. You can check the firewall policy and you can see the traffic for the SSL VPN policy. For the next process, this is if you want your internet traffic to go through the FortiGate for security scanning. Disconnect first the Forti client. Go back to SSL VPN portals. Double click to edit the full access. We will disable the split tunneling. All client traffic will be directed over the SSL VPN tunnel. The routing address override will be automatically removed. Click OK to save. Next is go to firewall policy, we will create a new policy for SSL VPN to access internet. You must change the policy ID since zero is in use. You will receive an error if the ID is already in use. Give a name of SSL VPN to one. Incoming interface will be the SSL VPN interface. Outgoing interface will be the internet facing interface or the one which in my case is the maxis. Source will be the SSL VPN address and also the SSL VPN group. Destination will be all. We can now select all since the split tunneling is disabled. Services to all. Enable NAT since this policy is going out of the internet. Now, enable the appropriate security profiles, it is recommended that you enable all of the security profiles available for better security. But again, this will be based on your preferences or costumer's request. For the log allowed traffic, Select all sessions. Once done, click OK to save. You can now see the SSL VPN policy for internal network access and also for internet access. Now, let's reconnect the Forda client. Notice that we have option to save password, auto connect and always up since we enabled these features from the FortiGate. Let's test to access Fortinet.com. Now, let's check the policy, notice that there's a traffic for the SSL VPN to one. You can check your IP address and it will be changed to the remote side public IP address. Now, let's check the logs, go to dashboard then 40 view sources, you can see the SSL VPN username and IP address. Double click on it. You can verify the username and IP address of the SSL VPN user. Go to destinations and you can see the website 40net.com which we just accessed. Well, that's all for today's demonstration, feel free to leave your comments and suggestions below. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials, 
Thank you and see you in the next video.